Hey, welcome back guys. So I've received a lot of questions on how do you wire in a 4-in-1 ESC. It's something I've never done before because I rarely use them. I'm not too crazy about them mm -hmm. because when one ESC goes bad, you're not just throwing away one bad one, you're throwing away three good ones as well. But for this frame, I did want to use a 4-in-1 ESC because trying to make an ESC like this fit on the arms just isn't going to happen. Uh, if you're wondering what frame this is, it is the Valorum frame with the 5-inch uh, stretched X race arms. Uh, don't worry, I'll be doing a separate video on this. So what I've done so far is the easy part. You want to go ahead and solder on your main battery lead and uh, your three motor wires to each motor. You don't have to use red or black wires. Use whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. So this is the part that gets most guys confused. What do you do from here? Well, 4-in-1 ESCs usually come with a harness like this that plugs into it. What we want to do now is look at the wiring diagram and for this one it's saying uh, well it shows you where all the wires go this is motor number four motor three two one nc which i would assume stands for no circuit because nothing is going to that wire ground this is your current signal wire and vbat which means uh, this wire will be producing the full voltage of the battery now you may notice that uh, this particular 4 one ESC does not have a 5 volt regulator so if you are using a fly controller that does not have its own regulator, then look for a 4 one ESC that does have that 5-volt regulator. Uh, because my fly controller that I will be using does have the regulator, I don't need 5 volts. In fact, uh, I will be powering it with the full voltage of the battery, which will be this VBAT wire. You may also have noticed that these motors are not in the beta flight motor order, meaning uh, we've got motor number one, Motor number two should be here, and this should be motor number three, but it's not. And that's fine, it doesn't matter, because all that matters is where you place these four wires going to the motor pins on your flight controller. So the first thing I will do, uh, this wire with NC, because it's not going to anything, I will remove that wire from the harness, because we don't need it. And that will also give us a spare wire, just in case we ever need one. So it is going to be the fifth wire from the top or fourth wire from the bottom, whichever way you want to look at it, which will be this white wire. You could just cut it off, but like I said, if you do want to keep it for a spare, then you need to depin it. So I'm just going to take my razor blade, stick it right in here, lift the tab up, and pull the wire out. And here's my spare. I'll keep it for later. Now I'm going to plug the harness back in. Let's get the flight controller mounted. All right, now with the flight controller mounted, we can solder these wires up. So if we go back to the wiring diagram, uh, let's do the motor wires first. We've got four, three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna shorten these wires up a little bit. By the way, I also will be keeping these because these do have the really nice silicone jackets. This will come in handy later for, you know, maybe a different project or something. I also didn't short these too much because I want to be able to unplug this harness um, you know, if you get it too tight, you can't do that. Now let's get these wires tinned. Also going to place some solder on these, uh, pins. Okay, now before I solder these wires to the flight controller, like I said, you need to pay attention to the motor order for this ESC. I've got motor number one here, motor number three here. But this is actually motor number two and this is actually motor number three but it says motor two because motor one and four is correct we'll go ahead and do that just keep things not so confusing all right now this green wire which is the second wire this is motor number three but i don't actually want motor number three to go on motor number three pin i want it flip-flopped with motor number two so that's all we're going to do flip-flop them so this second wire will actually go to motor number two. And then this blue wire, the diagram says that it's motor number two, but it's actually going to go to motor number three. All that will leave is VBAT, ground, and the current wire if you do want the built-in current sensor to work. And funny enough, this wiring diagram is actually for uh, the Omnibus and also the uh, any of the th Flip32 boards. So if you are using those boards, you know exactly where those wires need to go. This wire on the very end is VBAT, and I could reach this across 
and solder it on just like that but because I always mount my receivers right on top of the flag controller uh, the wire would be in the way so I'm just gonna go underneath actually all three need to go underneath okay yellow wire is VBAT so let's shorten that one the second wire which is blue wiring diagram says that is current and this green wire is ground let's get them tinned up place solder on the pins so like I said this yellow wire is my power wire or VBAT wire it's giving the full voltage of the battery to the flag controller and that's the pin that it goes on this blue wire is current which leaves this green wire which will be my ground so that's our nice little clean installation let's go ahead and beta flight and test it out got the USB connected let's go ahead and connect a battery go to the motors tab understand the risk okay so this one is motor number one it should spin and we're good motor number two we're good three and four perfect now let's check the motor direction this one should be counterclockwise and it's actually spinning clockwise so we need to change that to should be clockwise it's counterclockwise so we'll change that which means this one should also be counterclockwise which it is and this one's probably going to spin clockwise and it is so all four need to be changed you have two different options of doing this you can either uh, just flip two wires on every single motor doesn't matter which one it can be the left and right can be the left and center the right and center doesn't matter just flip flop two of them and that will reverse the direction that the motor spins personally what I'm going to do is actually uh, do it through the software using the Bale Halley suite so let's get connected I do also need to update the version of firmware, but I'll do that off camera. Uh, by the way, if you haven't watched my Bill Heli Suite playlist where I completely cover everything that has to do with Bill Heli, then I'll leave you a link to that playlist in the description below. Um, but a quick way of switching motors, directions, um, I'm just going to do. Well, we can probably just do this and then do reversed, right setup, and that only changes the direction for motor number one. If you only want to pick one individual motor in ESC, then just right click your mouse. So let's reverse that, right setup, right click, reverse, right setup, right click, reverse, and right. So now they should all be reversed, and they are. So let's test it out again. We could go back into uh, beta flight, but we can also do it through the Bale Heli suite. So motor number one should now be counterclockwise, and it is. Two should be clockwise. We're good. This should be uh, motor number three should also be clockwise, and we're good there. Motor number four should be counterclockwise and we're good so that does it guys if you want any additional information um, I'll leave you a link to my beta flight playlist and another link to my BL Heli Suite playlist thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon